Hello viewers. Today I'll show you how to develop an IR spectrum from uh, the IR spectral raw data. Now in the screen before you are uh, two raw data files obtained from an IR spectral measurement earlier. We shall use the software Origin which is a popular data analysis and graphing software amongst uh, the science community for plotting the IR spectral graph. So in order to plot the graph, let us open the raw data files. We will open it with the notepad application to assess the data. Now, here is the data before us, that is uh, the IR spectral data. Now the problem is uh, the data, as you can see, there are two columns of data separated by a marker comma. So we do not want that because that will be a problem. We want the data to be separated into two individual columns. So in order to do so, we shall use another utility, which is the Excel app. And uh, a very important and uh, useful feature of Excel, which is the text to column conversion for uh, separating the data into two independent columns. So for that purpose, let us select the entire data set at first, copy the data set and paste it in an appropriate column in uh, Excel sheet, then select the entire column, go to the data heading, then go to the text to column transfer feature. Now what the text to column transfer feature does is it splits a single column of text into multiple columns by removing markers such as uh, comma, period, uh, space, tab, or any other character. So we will select the text to column feature. We will leave the delimited uh, function here highlighted, then go to next, select the appropriate delimiter which we want to eliminate. Uh, it's not the tab here, it should be the comma. Then uh, click on next again and select a destination column. So the destination column, uh, let me set the destination column as B1 and then we'll click on finish. So at the click of a button, a single uh, data set has been uh, separated into two different columns. So let us uh, copy the data, transfer it to the origin worksheet. Now in the X axis, we have wave number we will level it as such. The unit for wave number is centimeter inverse. We will level it. We can use the superscript and subscript function to highlight the unit or change the unit accordingly. Then uh, on the y axis, we have uh, percentage transmittance. The name of the sample for which we are uh, developing the IR spectrum is E1DP3Z. Okay, so it's E1DP3Z. Okay. So we are all set now. So let us plot the spectral uh, spectra. So we'll go to this plot function and uh, plot heading. Then uh, go to line and uh, plot the graph. Now in the graph, uh, we see that the x-axis it's running from 0 on the left to uh, 4500 on the right. Uh, this is not how IR spectral data is represented. In fact, it should be opposite. So let us change it. So we will set it uh, uh, the from point as 4500 and uh, it will go up to 0. Click on apply. Now, in order to get a better grasp of the spectra, uh, we will uh, have to set the y-axis also. So let us set the y-axis between 0 to approximately let's say 1.5 for a better representation okay so even uh, we can go 
lower than uh, 1.5 actually so let's see what is the data point here 1.25 that's okay so let us set the y axis as 1.25 and the horizontal axis let us begin it from 4000 okay so here we have our IS spectra and it looks pretty good the peaks are there you can uh, select the peak sorry uh, see the peak point using uh, this select screen reader tool it will give you the peak point so that's uh, double three five two point two five and zero point four 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 so the compound either has got carboxylic uh, group or probably hydroxyphenyl group we don't know for sure and uh, there is another peak at uh, 1632 so probably that is due to a carbonyl group whatever uh, the analysis uh, is a complex process and uh, it involves other methods of analysis also uh, to be sure uh, to be sure about the kind of groups that are present in the compound so let us refine it further if you look at the data point the last data point is 399.219 so in the two section here let us uh, put in type in 400 okay that, so that's it you can also define the width of the line in the origin spectral car, uh, spectra data even the color can be defined as per your choice uh, I love purple I'll uh, okay let's keep it navy blue apply and then okay so there we have our higher data so in order to export the IR data you will go to the export tab then open the dialog box then uh, define we'll have to define the type of image we want to export the data in so generally for a high quality image we use the tag image file option the TIF option so you can name the file here so it's uh, e1bp3z ir so let us define the path here okay so let us click on ok so that's it that actually is how we develop an IS spectrum so here is our IS spectral file the leveling of the individual peaks can also be done but uh, there is a very simple process so let's say you want to level a particular peak let's say this one okay so double three one eight so use the text function here and uh, put it as three three one eight okay so i hope this video was informative and uh, i hope it will help you uh, develop IR spectrum on your own. Thank you.